I've been thinking an awful lot about the Nerf Longshot recently. There's nothing that's more snipery or rifly than a nice big long barrel and a scope! Good stock to get your shoulder into. And maybe a bipod. Plus the Longshot's got this awesome front gun for taking out targets that get too close. Plus this wonderful yellow colour is absolutely perfect for showing people where you are. Don't forget the bolt action. All snipers must have bolt action. But the long shot's getting a bit old and it's been a while since Hasbro's come out with a proper nerf sniper rifle. The long strike was pretty cool. Nice long barrel, comfortable stock, complete with convenient space for extra mags, bolt action prime, and there's a little iron sight on the front. Which does that? And an attachable iron sight for extra snipiness. I can't find the blue one, so there's that one and that will Oh, that's broken. Actually, I think it goes that way round. That's better. These are both small calibers. Sniper rifles are meant to be massive caliber. Like this monster. This is pretty snipery and rifley. And I love the chunky noise it makes when you fire it. One shot. One kill. Plus it came with a bipod, but it didn't come with a scope. Who will overlook that? One shot. One kill. Then there was the Raptor Strike. Barrel, bolt action, stop. Plus there used to be a flip up sight on this which I've also kind of lost. But still no proper scope. You can't have a sniper rifle without a proper scope. It is accurate and strikey. You know what else is accurate and strikey? The Mega Thunderhawk. Massive stock, bolt action goodness, and a massive barrel. That's pretty sniper rifle-y. Oh, I don't know, no Nerf sniper rifle's been quite as snipery and rifle as the Nerf Longshot. Yellow bolt action snipery goodness with a scope! And none of them are yellow enough. The one thing the Nerf Longshot was missing that some of the others have was kind of slanty snipery mags. Centurion has slanty snipery mags too. I wish there was a Nerf sniper rifle that was as bolt action and snipery as the Nerf Longshot with a scope! And slanty mags. Ah! I heard your wish and fell from the sky! You mean the... whatever that is? Ah, Ram Magic, I fell through that too. You don't look well. Ah, your audio doesn't sound well. Steady on. Can't you magic yourself back together? Ah, that'd be beyond the scope of this video. I like the sound of the scope. Ah, well you'll be liking this too. Bibbidi bobbidi boop! Wow! It's magic! Ah, I've just improved the scope of your video. See what I did there, ah. But what am I meant to do with it? Ah, just unbox it. I'm gonna be off now. I've got some mozzarella waiting in the fridge, ah. Where'd he go? Look at this. No Fortnite Baz RL? What as in, like the fish? RL as in rocket launcher? What does RL stand for? Bolt action sniper right. Bolt action sniper rifle long. I don't know. Look at this. There's a stock, snipery angled mag, bolt action, long barrel, and a scope. It's perfect. It's even yellow because sniper rifles need to be yellow. Don't want to go near a sniper you can see, I guess. Who are these guys? Alien ant woman? That is one sharply dressed llama. And what on earth is that? You crazy Fortnite. Removable scope? Removable six dart clip? Well, that's reassuring. I mean, does Hasbro normally do glue them in? Sniper rifles aren't normally disposable. Also, look out for the SMG Fortnite SR, which has just come up as listed on the Argos website. And 12 darts! Hasbro, you're so generous recently! What's happened to you? Tiny Fortnite sticker. Quite like this new Nerf logo as well. Nice and 3D and funky. Find a cutting tool. Wow, it's magic! Look at all of this stuff. 12 darts! Good heavens, Hasbro! Get those out. That's incredible! Look at those! So generous! Probably the most generous I've ever seen Hasbro be. And a scope! This is a pretty chunky scope. Look at it, that's pretty funky. With authentic battle damage! Look, there's battle damage there and there and there. Does this twist? No, it doesn't twist. It's got like a sighty sort of thing in it. Because I know all about guns and sights and stuff. We don't have guns over here, I'm British! That is one funky looking mag. Oh, and it's all snipery and angled. Used with clip system darts only. <laughs> Take that, Hasbro! Actually, the last few boxes have had warnings to only use official Nerf darts. We got those here. None of those warnings on the box. They only stuck it on the mag. I do like the mag, though. Put that there. And a nice chunky looking stock as well. It almost looks like there should be space to store something in it. I don't think there is. Oh, that's a shame. All this space and you couldn't store anything in it. But it is a nice chunky stock. I have a funny feeling that once this goes in, it's not going to come back out again. I quite like the little detailing there with the little grey bits. It looks like it should open, but it doesn't! I have to deal with that later. More authentic battle damage! Battle damage, battle damage, Fortnite! Turn over to look at the other side, and Fortnite on this side is in fact coloured in. More battle damage! I like the little grey screw things here. They aren't functional, they just look nice. Ambidextrous mag release. And we've got a nice tack rail on the top, a massive tack rail! It's a jam door! Oops. What a clever place for a jam door! Unless you've got a scope on it, that is. Now to assemble the blaster, you simply take this and click it into there. 
like that. I can click mine in and take it back out again. Before I put these on, I actually went inside and modified it to enable me to do this very thing. Being able to take this off is kind of cool. I like it. Stop goes in, stop comes out. And if you want to see how I did that, follow me on TikTok and Instagram because that's where I posted the video about it. Next part of assembly is putting that into there. Huh? Oh my bad. See these little slits here, they've got to be facing forward. That goes in there. Click, like so. And now as you can see with both of these little clickies in here, it does what it's meant to do. And guess what? It does slam fire! That's pretty awesome for a sniper rifle, actually. Now looking at other functionality of the blast, we've got this massive tack rail right here, and we've got a jam door on the tack rail, which is kind of funky. Is that gonna put this on here? Yeah, you can kind of open the jam door with the scope on, but not really. This is a massive scope, look at it! What an amazing scope! This is possibly one of the most awesome scopes I've ever seen in a Nerf blaster. It looks incredible, I love it! There's a little button to press to deprime your blaster if it jams. Tag release right there. It actually feels really comfortable to hold and like shoulder, it feels really nice. It's a little bit kind of cramped right there, but even there. And I love that I can do this. As for I wish they thought of that. Oh look, my mag appears to be loaded, not with clip system darts. I do hope they're compatible. And it seems they are. Wow, that was actually really good. I haven't got a chrono at the moment, but this does seem to be firing fairly hard. Unloading the blaster is fairly simple. Prime like that, press the mag release, and out comes the mag. Loading up the mags with some official nerf darts now. And the mag actually squeezes seven in, but it's worth a try. I think the mag just squeezed seven darts in. Let's go and fire some more off. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually quite impressed with this blaster. It seems to be shooting quite well and it's fairly accurate for a Nerf blaster too. One issue that Coop identified with this blaster is the incompatible with mags that have these kind of bubbles on them. And it's all because of the slant of the magwell. See, look, you can see how the magwell's kind of slanted. Slanted, goes, goes that way. Now, in addition to fixing the problem with the stock, I also went and fixed the problem with the magwell at the same time. And that's also on the videos on TikTok and Instagram, so go ahead and check those out. And as a result of those fixes, I can now take this mag, complete with bubble, in it goes, it primes, it fires. You're welcome, Hasbro. Was that difficult? Was that difficult? Thank me later, Hasbro. I'm now going to load up this mag with 18 darts and slam fire. I still can't believe Hasbro gave us like 12 nerf darts for this. That was so generous. Here we go. Loading up more darts, more darts, more darts. That's more or less 18. Close enough. And I do believe we're ready to fire. Deploys. Nerf guy. That's so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna admit, I actually quite like this blaster. I mean, the whole Fortnite thing is a bit of a running joke, but I'm gonna be frank, this is a lot of fun. Especially with the slam fire, especially with the bigger mags. Especially now I can go like this. I wonder what the blaster's like, just like that. Let's use the snipery mag again, because that's what snipers meant to use. Mm, this bit down here jabs into your hand a little bit, but I don't know. Well, it was accurate enough to do that. So let's have a conversation about this blaster. I quite like it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It seems like it is hitting better than average for a Nerf blaster, which is nice. Um, those mods I did before actually putting these into this blaster were priceless. I love being able to take this off. And I think there's some scope for like a storage stock to be made out of this because it is absolutely massive. And it's worth saying at this point that every other Nerf sniper rifle that takes mags has some kind of storage capacity in the back. Storage. You can store a mag in here. There you go, mag storage. And the long strike as well. Mag storage. With this amount of space in the stock, would it be difficult to store a mag in here? Absolutely not. It may even be possible to store two in here or even some applesauce and custard or whatever. I think the stock has a lot of potential. Even if you just kind of cut a hole in it and just dumped a bunch of darts in it, there's space for everything in there. Aesthetically, I love kind of the, the 
comical, sort of silencery sort of style on this. Aesthetically, I just plain love the way it looks. This is probably my favourite scope of any other Nerf scope I've seen. I mean, here's how it compares size-wise to the long shot scope. I mean, it's actually a pretty darn cool scope. Look at it. I mean, granted, it's not going to be very camouflaged, which is a bit of a shame, because if you look at the rest of the blaster, I can look at the jam door right now. Um, yeah, absolutely more than enough space. That's fine. Brilliant. It's kind of clever use of the space as well, because it means that instead of just having this amount of tack rail, you've actually got a lot more tack rail. Wait, or do you? No, no, no. Because this back here is just faux tack rail, and so the scope can't actually go back this far. So you don't actually have as much tack rail as I thought you did. So you've only got this amount of tack rail here. This still looks cool though, it still looks nice. I've got to say, as a blaster, I do quite like it. Not gonna lie. In terms of price point, I don't think the Fortnite tax hits you that hard on this one. I mean, compare it to, like, say, the price of the Raptor Strike or the Centurion when it came out. Even the AccuStrike Thunderhawk, I think it's fairly reasonably priced for what it is. I mean, if all you want is a Nerf Blaster that does the job, then, you know, go for a Retaliator or something. I'm pretty sure the Retaliator 2.0 is coming out. I mean, the Retaliator version of Elite 2.0 sort of thing. Oh, Magus, you might have been a deal breaker, but that doesn't have to be anymore. And I still think there's a load of potential in that stock. If you're a cosmetic modder, there's a lot of fun to be had here. A lot of space to work in too. I mean, I think this would look kind of funky without the big front barrel there as well. About five hours ago, I posted a work in progress video of this very video on Facebook. So please go and follow me on Facebook if you want to see works in progress of me making videos. You sometimes live stream the editing process of me making videos as well on a channel called Jolt Stuff. There's a lot more fun to be had with this blaster, so keep your eyes peeled. This is Just a Jolt, signing off. What's in the stock? Nothing but there should be. This t-shirt, by the way, was given to me by Games of Foam, who I ran a quiz for last week. Thanks, Games of Foam. I love t-shirts.